Whitley Pleasant will be monitoring the action down on the pitch tonight. Thanks, guys. You know, tonight is just the fourth meeting between the two, and so far the Dallas Sidekicks have outscored Rancho Seco 24-13. to Also, two key players will be back on the field tonight for Dallas, goalkeeper Juan Gamboa and also the leading scorer and the star of the show, Cameron Brown. You know, guys, I expect a high-energy, high-scoring game, gentlemen. Yeah, it should be. Uh, this is a team in uh, Saltillo, as we talked about at the top, Alan. They uh, give up a lot of goals. Really pleasant is standing by with the head coach of the Dallas Sidekicks, Simone Bozos. Coach Bozos, tell me, the inconsistent play calling in tonight's game has a few of your players upset. How are you going to keep them focused to stay with it the rest of this game? Well, I think that, uh, I think actually the league needs to, <laughs> need to figure out when they do the assignment. This referee already had a previous last game and uh, and with a little bit of history, so I, I don't know, I don't control that, unfortunately. The idea is that we play us and we keep our you know our cool. Considering how you guys played in the first half, what needs to be done to seal the win in the second half? We know what needs to be done, and we'll hopefully we can see it here in the next half. All right, good luck, Coach. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right, Simone. Wow, I have to say, what a second half. Your team is now on a four-game winning streak. How does this victory set the tone for the rest of the season? Well, I think that we, you know, I was talking to your colleague last uh, last game. I think that what, you know, we came in a little late, uh, the new ownership and, and also myself, coach, staff. And so it, it, we knew it was going to take a couple of games. And I know people were impatient because we lost the first couple of games. But we knew that we were working hard. We know what we do inside the locker room and on the practice. We know what we're doing. So I'm glad that, you know, slowly but surely our efforts are starting to pay off now that we had some more time playing together. Speaking of time, you did have time to gel together, and based off tonight's game, how is that coming along? I think that the, I think the group is getting along very well, uh, you know, including this game. And I think in uh, 17 days we have seven games, so we're going to alter through a lot of players. Everybody's going to get a good playing time, and so that that's healthy for the group because that means nobody gets left out. Everybody feels part of the group. And up next, you're going to face Brownsville again. Can we expect another down to the wire game? <laughs> well, actually, I, I you know I. I don't know. I think that the Brownsville, I think that a little bit caught us by surprise. Uh, Latin team, they play like we do. Uh, so do they in the first half. But uh, I think that now that we play them once, and you know that, that gives us a little bit of a heads up on what we're supposed to do for the next game. All right, thanks, Coach, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, back to you, Pete. Fabinho 